What is up YouTube? My name is Justin White and I have my 2018 Toyota Tacoma here. We are going to do a transmission drain and fill. So that means we're not flushing out the entire system. We're taking a little under four quarts out and then putting in a four quarts in um, just on the main side of the transmission. It's way easier and it's a lot easier to do at home. And if you do it more frequently, then you don't have to do a drain flush at a, a longer duration. I'm doing uh, drain fluid changes uh, every 40,000 miles. Uh, I might do one at 60,000 miles just depending on how hard I drive and how much I tow, but uh, we'll see what happens when I get there. For this job, you'll need a five millimeter hex. I recommend putting it on a uh, socket here or a um, ratchet. And then you want the uh, ATS WS automatic transmission fluid here. And then we're also gonna use uh, some jumper wires to jump the OBD2 scanner to get it in the proper mode so we know what the transmission temperature is at. So the fluid level will be correct. But uh, enough talking, let's go underneath and drain the transmission. We're at the bottom of the transmission pan right here and we wanna drain the fluid first. So got my catch pan here, got my 14 millimeter socket. Loosen that up. Now, I see a lot of people get this wrong for crusher washers. You can see that this is the flat side and then there's this more rounded side on the top. This is what crushes up against the transmission pan to seal it shut. So make sure you have it on the wrong, the right way. Um, so this flat side goes up against the bolt. And then when we go up towards that transmission and tighten it down, this is going to lock up against that drain pan and prevent it from leaking. All right, now it's time to torque this drain plug to 15 foot pounds. Now we've got our five millimeter hex here. Break that loose. This is our fill plug, or it's base, not our fill plug. This is going to be, uh, it's gonna drain out here. So it's gonna, this is gonna be where it's dripping out. So we know it's gonna be at the full level or not. All right, so this is a fairly messy situation, but not too bad. I use my 15 16 socket to go on the passenger side to remove the drain plug. It's really hard to see, so that's why I didn't film it when I took it out, but I promise I took it out. And then I inserted this hose into that fill of the transmission. And then I've got this hand pump. And I actually want to do something a little bit better than a hand pump at some point, but this one works really well. And you just move it in and out. I'm taking the fluid out of the court and it's going up into the transmission. I have the uh, check plug on the transmission pan out. Um, it's just right over there on the other side. So when that comes or when it starts filling up, that's going to flow out. And when that happens, I'm going to just put the drain plug in there just for a little bit. And then we'll do the startup and warm up procedure so we get to the exact fluid temperature and fluid height. As you can see, the uh, transmission check plug is leaking out. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait until it's dripping because right now the fluid's super cold. Um, so I'm gonna wait until it's starting to drip a little bit more, put the plug in. You don't wanna put the plug in with the new oil seal because you are gonna take it back out when we start it up and everything, so just you could just have it with the drain plug just to hold it in place so no oil's leaking out. But as you can see, uh, we're looking pretty solid here for um, fresh oil in the transmission. Woohoo! Now to jump the wire with the OBD2 connector, just use one single wire, 
on terminal 4 and 13 as shown in the picture and then you want to depress the brake completely and start your engine. Once you have your engine started up, you want to go from P to S slowly, make sure it's engaging in a reverse and then disengaging in a neutral and drive. Once you're completed with that, you, while observing the D-shift indicator on the combination meter, move the shift lefter back and forth between N and D at an interval of less than one and a half seconds for about six seconds. Okay, believe it or not, the D was on there for about two seconds and now it is off. And so we can go back into park here and you can see that it's not in park even though I'm in park here, got my e-brake on, it says I'm in park, it's not illuminated. This is just showing that we uh, have those wires jumped. Engine temperature is rising as you can see over here. Transmission temperature takes way longer to get up to temperature um, compared to the engine. And that's just because there's no combustion going on inside the transmission. And especially since we're idling and not even moving it, that fluid's gonna take a lot longer to warm up. But the temperature that we want is between 95 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Once that drive logo will show up here with the, just the D, even though we're in park, that's telling us that it's time to check that drain plug. We remove the drain plug, more fluid's gonna come out because the fluid warmed up to temperature and fluid expands when it warms up. And so it's gonna spill out of there. And then once it's just barely dripping, that means it's at the right level. We gotta make sure it's at the solid D, but if it's flashing, that means the temperature is over that 113 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you're checking it over 113 degrees Fahrenheit and then you put it in, your transmission fluid might be a little bit uh, low. So make sure you're within that 95 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit uh, when you're checking it. So if it's just a quick review, if it's illuminated, check it. If it's flashing, uh, you gotta let your transmission cool. Now the D is solid there. So let's go ahead and go underneath and check and, make sh and let the uh, fluid drain out of the check plug. Now you got to be extra careful because it is hot. As you can see, there's no fluid coming out, so I'm going to have to fill it up again for a second time because all the fluid is now circulating through the entire transmission. Nothing's coming out, so we are a little low. Now note to self, don't put everything away the first time because you might have to add more fluid to it just like I did for the second time. And now you can see it's just spewing out oil, which is perfect. And once it starts dripping lightly, you know it's full because the D indicator is on your instrument cluster and it's at the right temperature. So once it's just dripping, put the seal on there. As you can see right here, I'm putting on the brand new seal and then we'll go ahead and put it on the transmission before the transmission gets too hot and loses more fluid. So now it's dripping, which is the perfect time to put the uh, transmission check drain plug back on there. Go ahead and torque it to spec and you just did a drain and fill on your Toyota Tacoma. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy my content and if you followed this video, please hit the like button and if you have any questions, please hit the comments below and I will respond to you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.